Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Guns with Three Guns Down as always, and today I'm here to talk to you about something I thought I would be massively excited for when it came out, um, but it's only incited a lot of anger in me. And that is Psychonauts 2. Now, the original Psychonauts I love. It's one of my favorite, most cherished games from my childhood, and I think a lot of people, even now today, should play this game, um, even though it's somewhat dated, because I think it represents some of the better values in gaming that developers can learn from gaming itself. And how to tell a story in a unique way and also craft a world that makes this story very believable and makes you want to connect with it a little bit, at the same time letting you have a lot of fun. Now I thought I would be extremely happy if Psychonauts 2 would ever be announced and I never thought it would be, especially after all this time, but it was announced. It was announced in the form of a Kickstarter. Now, Kickstarter, I have kind of a problem with. Not a massive one, but kind of a problem with. A lot of companies go onto Kickstarter and they skate by the bare minimums when they start asking you for money. It's like, okay, we have the bare minimum what Kickstarter says we should have to start asking the public for money to fund us. In my opinion, I think Kickstarter should be a lot harsher on what they allow to be funded and what they don't allow to be funded. For instance, if you're going to be selling me a product, I expect you to have a proven concept and design of that product. I expect you to have a somewhat working model or shell of that product. Double Fine does not have any of that. They just have Psychonauts 2. They've not showed us any, they, they showed us this image. So they paid an artist some amount of money to storyboard this image. And that is far, 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 far beyond enough. That's that's nothing. That is that is enough. That is shit. Be Kickstarter acceptable. Now I understand there's the premise of the Psychonauts world from Psychonauts 1 and of course the story and they'll, perhaps they'll build on that, but in terms of what they're actually selling to me with Psychonauts 2, they're not selling me anything. They are selling me an idea of Tim Schafer's right now. And I cannot buy that. And there's one reason I cannot buy that, especially with Double Find. It is because Double Find is a repeat offender. I don't know if everybody's forgotten about Broken Age because the Psychonauts 2 campaign is doing relatively well, but Broken Age was pretty damn broken. Broken Age was a game that asked for $400,000 in kickstarting. Broken Age received all $400,000 of that kickstarting and then some, and the game was produced to an extent, and it was sent out to all the customers that had paid for the kickstarting. Unfortunately, Broken Age was a very, very broken game. It was unfinished, many bugs, it did not work. The community was livid with Double Fine, and understandably so. They had essentially given them a completely broken, unfinished game for the $400,000 that Double Fine had said, hey, for this amount of money, we will build you this concept game we have here and we'll sell it to you. They didn't do that. They did not fulfill their side of the bargain. In my opinion, Double Fine should not be allowed on Kickstarter anymore because they did not deliver on their promises or fulfill their promise with Broken Age. And Tim Schafer writing an article saying, oh, you know, that's just the nature of the beast in the industry. That's complete bullshit to me. You knew the amount of money you had. You knew your budget when it came to this game. And you completely went overboard, blew it out of the water, and did not finish your game at all, and then you gave it to your customers saying, here, this is what you get, I don't care, fuck off anymore. I don't understand how you could give that to your customer base and then expect them to come back for a second time. That's really, like, kind of saying, hey, you guys were stupid enough the first time to give us this money, are you stupid enough the second time? Psychonauts 2! This is what I feel like Double Fine is doing right now, and what I feel like Tim Schafer's right doing right now. Now, I don't know Tim Schafer, he's probably an actual really nice guy, but for this reason alone, it really kind of makes me incite some hate into him for, for this, selling this to us. Especially when they sold us Broken Age, and it was completely broken. I'm sorry for the repeat pun, but that's the best you can do with that. So why should they be allowed to sell this to us again, sell us another Kickstarter, not for $400,000, but for the best part of this joke, in my opinion. 3.3 million dollars. <laughs> See, Double Find is funding some of the game. And 
unknown third party, which will remain anonymous, is funding another part of the game. And they want us to fund the $3.3 million. Why? <laughs> you have... See, this is... I don't know if you know how businesses work, Tim Schafer, uh, or Double Find in general. Whoever does your finances over there, you really need to learn to like take an economics class or something. A corporation or business altogether is smarter than the one individual. Because that corporation or business altogether is smarter than the one individual, that corporation and or business knows what that individual wants and or needs. Therefore, they create what that individual wants and or needs. And if they can't immediately create something that the individual wants and or needs, they will think of ideas that you'll end up wanting, or they will create something in the system that will provide a need for something else. This is how businesses work, and this is how they generate revenue. They create a demand for something that we need or want, and they sell it to us. See, Double Fine, if you're already putting a large amount of money into this, should you not deal with that amount of funding? Like, that's it. That's your funding. That, that should be it. That's all. The amount of money that you're putting into it. And, I mean, if the third party anonymous donor wants to, you know, or a supporter or financer, whatever he may be to you, wants to assist you in some more financing, we'll take that. That's your budget. Go ahead and make the game with that. I don't see why you can't. I'm sorry, The Witcher 3 made probably the game of the year. It's up there with Fallout 4 and Metal Gear Solid for something like $16 million. And I can tell you right now that you're not going to do anything on the scale of The Witcher 3 or as graphically intense as The Witcher 3 or with as many voiceovers and dialogue options as The Witcher 3 or a customizable loot system as The Witcher 3. And then for that $16 million, they turned around and made like $126 million on launch day profit margins on the witcher 3 are like a thousand percent i mean they exceed that but <laughs> you know so i don't know where you get the gall for asking us i'm not saying video games are not expensive to create or produce or anything like that but i don't know where you get the gall to ask your customer base which you've already abused on kickstarter once before and then you wrote a bullshit article saying oh, that's the nature of the beast it's not the nature of the beast this is you trying to explain away you shipping us a broken game i mean you you're really leading yourself to a lot of shady questioning like did broken age really cost four hundred thousand dollars or did it cost more like a hundred thousand dollars and maybe you did something else with the three hundred thousand dollars that you weren't supposed to as a business why do you need $3.3 million to finish the funding of this game? If you're already putting a large chunk of your own funding into Psychonauts, why couldn't you put some of your own funding into Broken Age to finish the game and actually give your customers that supported you a finished game in the first place? That right there is absolutely bad business practice and values altogether. If you're going to put your own money into this next project and you're not going to finish the previous one, that's, that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. That's like, I'm going to sell you this car. It's missing two wheels and the steering wheel and the radio and the back seats. But if you pay me for another car, I'll give you the wheels and I'll give you the back seats. And then I'm going to ask you for like some monthly payments. And then I'll give you the steering wheel. And if you want the radio and all that, that's another down payment. And No. <laughs> you, you've abused it and you, you've lost your Kickstarter privileges, Double Fine. You've lost them. You abused it once already. And, oh, it won't happen again, guys. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I can't, I can't condone this or endorse this in any way whatsoever. And I really hope you guys feel the same. This is something that's kind of like blackballing our industry over here. I mean, video games are becoming quite a serious industry now, you know. Twitch has as many viewers as like some ESPN channels on a daily basis and talk shows that are on cable television. And there are cable networks that can't stand that. I mean, Twitch itself was worth one billion dollars, one fourth the amount of Star Wars, one of the most prolific money generating ideas that George Lucas, probably the only money generating idea he'll ever have in the world. I'm guns with three guns down as always guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you agree with my opinion, like it, please. If you disagree with my opinion, dislike the video. And please tell me why in the comments below. I'd really like to see this from other people's perspective other than my own, obviously, because my own's kind of boring, because I know it. So, 
let me know what you guys think about this. Do you agree or disagree with Kickstarters and Double Fine? If you want to know more about Broken Age, just Google Broken Age Fail, and it's everywhere. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. All those are down in the description below for you guys. Sub to the channel if you already have it and you appreciate the content. It keeps me going every single day. I will see you guys next time on the Gun Range.